ओके सो अभिनव गिव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ योर सेल्फ गुड आफ्टरनून मैम I am Abhinav Nath. I have completed my B Tech in Mechanical Engineering from Assam Engineering College. I belong to Sipsagar district, but I did my schooling from Jhurhat. I have done my class tenth from Songkhodev Seminary and class twelve from Pragya Academy. Talking about my non-academic involvement, I have held the position of president in the drama club of our college and also organized Erabator Hur event in our annual cultural festival Pyro Kinesis. and my uh, hobbies include playing uh, assamese dhol and assamese uh, and performing assamese folk culture bhavna and that's all about me ma'am okay so when did you complete your btech so i am ma'am i have completed my btech this year in 2020 okay. okay so you completed in 2023, 2023. what was your btech project uh, ma'am my btech project, project was on design and fabrication of low cost transportable mechanical ventilator using cam and shaft mechanism cam and shaft yes ma'am okay okay uh, so uh, abhinav you have so many uh, like oil companies why why you choosing oil india limited ma'am the uh, ma'am the uh, I, i have chosen oil india limited because the oil india limited will provide me a good financial stability so that i can focus all my energy in the development of the organization and ma'am secondly uh, i have talked with a uh, talk with one of my senior who is currently working in oil india limited and so i came to know that the work culture of oil india limited is excellent with good infrastructure for learning and development and also ma'am thirdly the crucial element of a good uh, human healthy uh, human is happiness is good health and the oil india limited will ensure it by providing a good medical facility Okay, uh, which is the largest uh, oil company? Uh, ma'am, in, in India, the Oil India Limited is, uh, is the second largest hydrocarbon exploration and uh, production company, and the first one is ONGC. Ah, uh, so how do you think you are suitable for Oil India Limited? Ma'am, uh, I believe that for an employee in an organization, he should be honest. He should be committed. and he should be disciplined and uh, moreover he should share the same vision with the organization and i have i think that i have all these qualities to moderate level and also ma'am uh, i believe that uh, for an employee both the managerial as well as technical skills are equally important and uh, as i have mentioned earlier i have uh, lead different club activities in my college and also uh, along with that i am maintaining uh, my academic performance securing the highest mark in the mechanical engineering batch of 2020-2023 so it shows the ability of mind to managing different things simultaneously so may i believe that uh, i am the i am suitable for this job and may i will be very lucky to get into all india oil india limited okay so uh, abina uh, like have you faced any challenges uh, like uh, you must have worked on the project in a team Uh, how many yes, how many students were there we have three members in our team three members so yes, was there like uh, because there must be some points where you disagree with each other okay uh, yes okay so uh, how did you overcome those uh, difficulties actually ma'am uh, because a lot of disagreement and will be will come if we work in a team but if we uh, divide the work among us Uh, then if we work on uh, on different different domain then it will be easier easier for us to work collectively and to complete the work so we have actually divided our work in small small part and we have work on that and if we have in and if we are facing some difficulties on that particular stuff then we are discussing among us and try to uh, resolve those problem to make some solution to that So okay th- this was concerning your own teammates okay uh, yes, now ma'am. now if you have some superior who is not ready to teach you but he would need to learn something what will you do uh, ma'am then first of all uh, i i will try to motivate him that he he be work hard in accomplishing the goal then it will be better for him in the uh, long term aspect because if he will not do anything at that time then he will the the time that he will uh, wasting that moment the time will not gain in the in the future so in long term except uh, aspect it won't help him so i will try to first motivate him and he will, he won't uh, get motivated from me if uh, if he won't work 
then i will try to uh, i will try to uh, uh, i will told him that please uh, if you were not working there then i will kick out you from my team and we'll try to no no, no. he is I'm, I'm that's what i'm saying he is your supervisor you need uh, to yes. learn from him okay yes ma'am okay i'm i'm asking the question that one of your supervisor is there you are uh, you you are under him and mm -hmm. uh, but he is not teaching you what will you do will you yeah. go to the higher authorities will you bypass him what will you do now first of all uh, before going to the higher authorities i'll try to contact with him as much as possible because if i can contact him many times then there is a probability that he will respond us because if if a person i believe in the thought that if i will uh, contact with a person many times then it will be irritating for the person at that moment and and sometimes the irritation will help you to uh, get something uh, beneficial uh, thing so i will first of all i will do that and if he won't uh, working if he, he won't try to help me then i will try to contact with some other professor other supervisor so that i can make some solution to that because uh, i if i go to some uh, higher authorities then this will also create a problem for me if the higher authorities will do something to the supervisor so i will try to contact with uh, other the friendly supervisor that are allotted to my friends so that I can uh, make some good conclusion out of that. So, I mean, what what do the what do your friends think about you? Uh, so, uh, ma'am, my friends thinks about me that I am a worthy uh, friend, and whenever they require any help from me, then I try to help my friends also to my juniors. <laughs> okay. So, what future do you see uh, in IOCL? I'm sorry, in Indian Oil Limited. Uh, Ma'am, uh, if I uh, get an opportunity to work in Oil India Limited, then I, I want to see myself at, uh, in such a position so that I can contribute in the uh, development of the organization. And also, I would like to uh, develop. I would like to develop my skills so that I can uh, take more responsibility within the organization. Okay, Abhinav. So one thing is there. Let me give you a feedback. Uh, Yes, uh, you gave your introduction, okay, but in your in your introduction, you did not mention your project, B Tech project. I asked you mm -hmm. later on what was your B Tech project. Since yes. you do not have any, you have not done your M Tech. Since you do not have any working experience, so mm -hmm. at least you should mention your project. Okay. And have you not done any internship? Yes, ma'am, I have done it. You have not mentioned those are technical things which you should see. We ask you about your introduction. Your CV is there with them okay yes, but yes, we yes. ask you about your introduction so that we can know how you are fit for that job yes okay so uh, technical things you need to tell there's although there's much uh, there's not much need to tell that uh from where you belong and all that stuff is not required yes. even if you say that two lines is does not matter but the thing is, you need to mention what uh, what uh, what was your BTEC project, what was your uh, where you did your internship, what was uh, and uh, in the internship, what kind of training you did, what was your internship? I I still don't know. Like, uh, uh, what was your internship? Where uh, was it? I have done my internship at Numolega Refinery Limited, and in Numolega Refinery Limited, basically, ma'am, we have only undergone classroom training program. We are. Uh, we okay. did not able to uh, go through the uh, refinery because okay. there are expansion projects is going on at that time. But we have learned... Whatever it is, you have done your training in refinery yes. and it is a yes, very plus point for Oil India Limited. Yes, ma'am. So that you have to mention and you, oh. you did not mention that only. Okay. Yes. So that is uh, essential to mention because you have done your internship in a refinery. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So that is a plus point for that. Yes. Okay. Okay, and the second thing is when I asked you the last question, which I asked you, um, what was the last question I asked you? Where do you see yourself in five years? Ah, where do you see yourself in five years? Okay, you will be working hard, but you need to have some goal, your vision, your mission after five years, after 10 years, where do you see yourself? Okay, in the company that is there, you will work hard. That, that whatever you said has to be spoken at that time, yes. but. But along with that, you should have some uh, some vision where where you want to be in the company. 
means okay. about myself that means at which position yeah yeah at which position you want to be or uh, what position you can reach yes. either you can uh, you can just uh, study the hierarchy also okay, okay. and uh, uh, one more thing was there um, when you said about your uh, uh, mentioned about your uh, why how you are suitable even in even there how you are suitable for this you can mention this uh, that you have done your internship uh, in the refinery division only okay. so at least uh, theoretically you have done things over there yes okay you okay. can't say practically you have done or you have not seen that you have not seen the refinery and everything no no i i have not seen that that was because just uh, classroom teaching classroom teaching yes ma'am that means we have visited the numodiga refinery limited but there here there is a training and development room and where we have only undergone classroom training program and due to yeah. unability actually uh, numolica refining is expanded from 3 mm tpa to 9 mm tpa and we have done uh, because of covid 19 our class has been a uh, uh, class schedule has been changed so we have to uh, do a internship at in august to september so at that time because of the unability of the workers we did not able to see the refinery that actually okay. that's why i am not mentioning about the uh, refinery whatever it is but you did your internship over there uh, you can mention that it was just uh, like in the training center they uh, yes, uh, you were there at the training center of that uh, refinery so because it is a plus point for oil india limited okay. you can Maybe mention if i can mention you that have to tell lies that you you visited you don't tell lies that you visited the uh, refinery just say that time. you were there Ma'am, I will tell that uh, sir, we have only undergone classroom training program there, where we have learned about this, this, and this. I will, if I can tell like that. Don't expand okay. till they ask you. Oh, okay, ma'am. Okay, don't okay. expand many things. Just say that you were there at the training center of uh, uh, whatever refinery you say. Okay, ma'am. Okay. And ma'am, uh, why are you suit in the question? Why are you suitable? Let me, along with the uh, answers that I have given, I will also add the numbers of refining thing with that. Ah, huh, whatever strengths you said, huh. strengths you should add. Strengths huh. should be there. Along with that, you can add this. Oh, okay. Okay, you can obviously you have done your uh, engineering plus uh, you have done your internship over there in yeah, the refinery yeah. at the training center plus you have those strengths. Okay, so okay. you are suitable. Fine. Okay. Okay. And ma'am, what about my other answer? Answer will it be okay? Uh, uh, I think other answers were okay. Um, uh, uh, no need to modify much in those. But the thing is, your when you speak, your words should be clear. Yes. Okay. Okay. Actually, ma'am, my English uh, communication is uh, actually I am planning to. If they will ask me about my weakness, then I I will tell him that that my uh, so my weakness includes the hold over the English communication. But uh, oh, why they, can you speak in Hindi? Ma'am, actually, if they will ask me, uh, uh, most of the interviews will be of Assamese in Oil India Limited because the headquarters is in Duliyadan in Assam. If they okay. will ask me, that means if they will ask me, I can speak Hindi and Assamese both. Yes, but yes, if, yes. If they will ask me in Assamese, no, 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 it's not better. that. It's not that you can speak Hindi even if they don't ask you. Uh, yes. If you even if they if you are not comfortable in English because some words were not clear, that is why I am saying. So uh -huh. um, I thought it was just your accent, but don't overlap the words when you are speaking. Okay. Okay. And then if I can, uh, then I can include it as my weakness that uh, sir, my uh, weakness includes hold over the English communication. But during the four years of BTEC, I have tried my best communicating with my friends to improve the command over the language. But I am still working on it, and I believe that in due course of time, I will be proficient in it. Okay, but um, generally, uh, we talk in uh, talk about weakness in habits, basically, like uh, yes, yes, some yes. emotions or some habits which you have. You can find that also, like in you must be having some weakness, no? Ah, uh, yeah, yes. But the weakness should be such that it should not uh, like influence the company or the work of the company or anything. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so it should not hamper the work of the company when you talk about your weakness. Okay. okay. Fine? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay.